Bro, man, the truth of the matter is that, bro, Disney's trash. Disney's evil. Disney wants to pretend like they care about other groups. They want to pretend. They want to look like they care about blacks and gays and Hispanics and Asians and all that. But the, the, real, the reality is simple. They just care about money. The Acolyte has officially been canceled. They greenlit a season two when it was running, but now they said, uh, uh, <coughs> it's officially been canceled. The Acolyte season two is no more. Wait, that progressive, amazing show that had LGBTQ people and black people and Asian people, it had, it checked every box. How could that thing fail? A lot of people are blaming it on you know, the, the geeks and gamers type of people, the people who call everything woke. It's black, woke! You know, they're toxic, but the truth of the matter is, the Acolyte is trash, bro. The, the, the Acolyte is trash. Forbes has even come, and they're, you know, progressive as shit. The obvious reason that Disney canceled the Acolyte wasn't because of toxic dude bros. People are trying to say that toxic dude bro, dude bros, are the reason why that acolyte is canceled that we as star wars fans sit back and we watch star wars completely get destroyed before our very eyes they released a show that showed the origins of the force being manifest through witchcraft lesbian witches at that a lesbian witch cult created force life rewriting the fact that Anakin Skywalker was the chosen one born of the force completely getting that out of here retconning that on a, on a Disney plus streaming series the agenda is thick with the acolyte bro and there's a lot of reasons why the acolyte got canceled but for the most part the acolyte I believe got canceled because people didn't want to watch it because it was garbage because when people try to fill things with agenda they often lose sight of what you're doing you have to make a good show and the writing of the show was poor some of the episodes were pretty good if you take star wars out of it there's a couple of episodes that i actually liked but the attack on star wars in that series is is unforgivable unforgivable there's been garnishing of the teeth and rendering of garments over the past week about the cancellation of it the show itself is not a large, large hit. And then I, I'm, I'm saying to myself, how much did the Acolyte cost? Did you guys know that um, the Acolyte was Disney Plus's second most expensive series? What blows my mind even more, do y'all know what number one was? Guys, when it comes to Star Wars, what do you think was the biggest budget Star Wars TV series? Y'all let me know Let me in the chat. Boba Fett? Mandalorian? Mmm. No, the most expensive <laughs> series was Andor, $250 million for one season. That is a big budget, high big budget, box office summer blockbuster movie budget, bro. And they spent that on Andor, and they came in number one. Number two, the Acolyte cost $180 million. Where's that budget at? I don't see it. That's why I said we got to this stagecraft. How much it costs to rent that shit? arm and a leg and a freaking DNA deposit. What's what am I missing? Because you don't have a star studded cast. The CG isn't incredible. You barely had any action in the series. So it's like, where's the money going? Where does all that money go? $180 million, bro. That is also a big budget summer box office type of movie budget. 180 million dollars for that that's wild to me but even this columnist is letting people know that no it's it looked cheap despite its ignore its enormous cost and while some outlets want to paint the cancellation as a win for toxic dude bros in the fandom and others are saying it's a failure because disney will try to avoid trying new things the culprit is twofold this person thinks that it was expensive too expensive to justify the cost. And it did not receive critical acclaim. And critical acclaim is tied up to Rotten Tomatoes at this point. The only thing people really pay attention to is Rotten Tomatoes. They don't really 
read actual reviews of trusted reviewers anymore. They go to a Rotten Tomato score, which which says a lot of things. But I'm glad that the Acolyte is canceled because I don't want to see any more of this. This this is her response to the Acolyte being canceled. Uh. All right, I'm not going to play it. I'm not going to play it. I'm sorry, guys. I know you guys are tired of it. I wouldn't dare play that again. But that, that was how she looked. She looked like she was pissed as freak. Yeah, that's what happens when you, when you, when you, when you not like us. <laughs> bro, man, the truth of the matter is that, bro, Disney's trash. Disney's evil. Disney wants to pretend like they care about other groups. They want to pretend. They want to look like they care about blacks and gays and Hispanics and Asians and all that. But the, the, real, the reality is simple. They just care about money. And the agenda that they use to try to make the money is, is, isn't working. So that's why the acolyte was canceled because it ain't making no money. Maybe Disney will learn that you have to uh, switch things up when things ain't really working. I actually liked a couple of episodes in The Acolyte, though. Do you guys think that it should have been canceled? Should The Acolyte have been canceled just because of the fake woke agenda? It was. It seemed like it was going somewhere. Aside from you the agenda. Win. Perfect. Aside from some of the mediocre writing. Don't you think that it shouldn't have gotten a season two? Yes. Yes, it should have been canceled. Yes, it should have been canceled. I've seen worse. Oh, yes, I have seen worse. The Acolyte, in my opinion, ugh, is more entertaining than Ahsoka was. It was more entertaining than Obi-Wan. Uh, I've never seen Andor. It's more entertaining than Boba Fett Season 3. No, Mandalorian Season 3 and Boba Fett. That Boba Fett was god-awful. I just feel like this is what happens when you muddle the agenda in your I mean, you deserve to take L's and lose, bro. I have no sympathy for what Disney's going through, bro. In fact, I, I want... You win. Perfect. I'm a hater, bro. I guess you would call me a hater because I want their pockets to bleed out, bro. And it's a shame that Marvel is owned by Disney because Marvel would have been so great. You guys know how awesome it would have been for us Marvel fans to be Marvel fans in 2024 if Disney wasn't owning Marvel. Remember the first phase of the MCU, how serious it was? Still heroic, but serious. Do you guys remember Iron Man 1? Tony Stark had... He smashed that reporter, bro. She woke up in his bed the next morning. Tony Stark built this in a cave with a bunch of scraps. That Middle Eastern guy got murdered, bro. His blood died. They had terrorists in that movie. They're not doing that now because the mouse now owns the house. And so long as Disney is running Star Wars, bro, I have no faith in it. My friend Patty, she's about to make Rogue Squadron. So what? That movie's probably going to be fire. I can't wait. I support her 100%. Go, girl. But that's just that movie. I could walk right out of uh, Rogue Squadron, loving it. It could get an A mo grade for all I know. And I'll still be saying Star Wars sucks. Because the people that are running it suck. Kathleen Kennedy is one of them. I'm sorry. No sympathy from here, though. No sympathy from here. That's what you get.